hey guys welcome back to my channel welcome back to today's video for today's video i have this it, my camera is flashing so i'm trying to get this last clip before it completely dies but i have this pink cut crease look for you guys and it's very funny because i recreated this look on my niece the other day on friday night because she did sleep over and she likes to mess around with makeup so i did this look on her and the first thing she did was wow i look like annabelle I was just like Annabelle like the scary you know doll and she said yes and I think it's because her eye shape is completely different from mine um she does have rounder eyes and a deeper crease so I feel like the dark shades we did this at night so I feel like the dark shades in the eyes and in the crease kind of threw her off a little bit so she said that she looked like Annabelle she still wore it and went to Target like that and <laughs> I don't know if I should take that as a compliment or not but anyways um before my camera completely dies if you're interested in this look and want to see how you can recreate it at home then keep watching I already went ahead and primed my eyelids off camera or primed my eyelid did one eye off camera my base makeup and my eyebrows just to save a heck a lot of time um, so the first thing I'm going to do is grab my eyeshadow palette. We're going to be working off the Too Faced Just Peachy Matte palette. And I, um, use this on a daily basis, but I feel like I never dive into, like, you know, the brighter shades for whatever reason. I don't know. So I just decided to try this out today. And, um, I actually kind of like it. So I usually do this eye on camera for you guys but you guys know that um this eye always gives me problems so i'm gonna go ahead and do the opposite eye just to see how it works out my ear is bright red because i just cleaned it so i'm gonna take a brush i mix these up so i don't know which one's what but the first thing i'm gonna do is dip into the color peach punch which is just it looks pretty bright in the palette and in on camera but that's mainly the only color i have on my eyelid at the moment so I'm just gonna take this and start at the or outer corner and start packing this on and see how it like deepened up a lot more once I start blending it out it'll deepen up a whole lot more and it kind of changes on the eye I'm not sure if it's because of the eyeshadow base or just how the eyeshadow works but that's what I noticed when applying this shade The next shade I am taking is this deeper pink burgundy shade and it is called Peach Sangria and I'm just going to take this right on top of where I blended out that hot pink eyeshadow. It's not even a hot pink, it's like a peach eyeshadow and I'm just picking some up and going directly on that as well. I'm not going to extend this eyeshadow out like a wing, but I do want to bring it down pretty low just um, so it could blend in a little bit better with my under eye um, eyeshadow. And it is so hot, that's why I have so much powder on my nose because my nose sweats like crazy. I had to close all my windows in my room because for some reason, everybody everybody decided to be outside today and blast their music cut their grass i don't know so it's pretty hot i'm gonna have to take a few breaks in between just so i won't melt off i'm also taking like um a fluffy a clean fluffy shader brush and blending out the edges i can't even talk to i had so much coffee i'm like blah, blah, blah. I didn't realize I wasn't recording but all I did was just go ahead and cut my crease with my concealer so now I'm just gonna go ahead and fill in the rest it's not like a full-on cut crease like very sharp but um, I just wanted the inner corner of my eye to be very clean and that's why I went ahead and cut my crease you don't have to do the step but I'm just letting you guys know what I did so I'm just gonna tap this concealer in with my finger before applying an eyeshadow on top and I'm still trying to debate if I want to add a wing eyeliner or not um, 
that's my biggest I keep looking over here because I'm not sure if it's just my eyesight but it looks blurry so hopefully this is I know it's in focus because obviously like I checked my camera beforehand but it just looks very blurry to me I'm not sure once again if it's my eyesight or whatever but um we're just gonna go with it so I'm gonna keep blending this out as best as I can you could take this like a full-on cut crease or um you don't even have to cut your crease actually though now that I think about it you could just wet the eyeshadow that's gonna go on top I'm adding a highlighter so if you don't have a highlighter um in the shade that I do don't worry about it just go ahead excuse me and um add whatever shimmery shadow you have so I'm gonna take my glow kit in that glow from Anastasia Beverly Hills and I'm gonna take the shade sunburst and what I'm gonna do is take a flat shader brush and go into this sunburst shade and set that concealer like I said you don't have to use this exact shade because I am using a highlighter you could use another shimmery pink highlight um, whatever shadow you have around works just fine and the only reason I'm grabbing another eyeshadow from a different palette is because the peach um, palette doesn't have any shimmery eyeshadows so it does have a pinkish white shade that you could apply on there it's very nice but I don't I didn't want like a whole matte eyeshadow look so so I skipped out on it I am gonna bring <coughs> this highlight out a little bit just to help it blend because you see how this is blended out and this just has like a harsh line we are looking for an outcome that looks like this so what I'm gonna do is take no extra product on my brush and just wiggle back and forth between the burgundy eyeshadow and the highlight and this will just blend it out a little bit better so then now what we're gonna do is go back into the matte palette the peach just peachy matte and then take a little bit of this shadow right here and help blend out that harsh line a little bit more like so you could go back and forth a few times which I like to do just to make sure it's extremely blended out see how it's starting to look a little bit blended here but here it's fully like a smooth transition that's what we're looking for on this side so just keep working back and forth between the eyeshadow and the highlight shade and it'll slowly come together I went ahead and did my under eye eyeshadow off camera I'm not that crazy about it because it did go a little bit darker than I thought I would and now I feel like I need to add a darker eyeshadow on the top but hopefully I wouldn't have to once I apply my eyelashes so the shades I did use though are peach sangria which is this shade right here I took that on a small dense shader brush and applied it from outer corner to inner corner and then just um I tried to keep the darkness just on the outer corner but I wanted to blend it in a little bit better so I used chocolate dipped and I blended it out probably to like here and then I added more of that sangria shade like I was saying this is why I hate doing my under eye um, eyeshadow on camera because it just gets too far so now for the inner corner highlight I'm gonna take the Maybelline single eyeshadow in the shade champagne fizz this is the only shade I add in my inner corner so if you are ever curious or I don't ever list it just know that this is always in my inner corner that this is my always this is always my inner corner highlight all right this is what the eyes look like once I have my eyelashes on don't kill me because I am NOT sure of the actual lash name I do know that they are oh the glue is not completely dry I know that they are from the Vegas May collection is it Vegas May I think so but I'm not sure exactly what style um I feel like I should have trimmed them down a lot though because my eyelashes are sticking together from the inner corner 
but yeah that's what it looks like with lashes go ahead and add whatever eyelashes you'd like or no lashes if you prefer that as well I believe I want to say these are the grand glamour lashes but I'm not entirely sure but I'm just gonna go ahead and do the rest of my makeup off camera just to save time because my battery light is flashing and for some reason I don't have a backup one so um, I'm gonna go ahead and bronze and highlight and do everything else off camera come back and finish off the video alright and we're back so I'm gonna take the same glow kit from Anastasia Beverly Hills and I'm gonna go in the shade bubbly and start applying that on the highest points of my face which are my cheekbones I always have trouble like showing you guys the lighting like how it reflects on this side of my face for some odd reason like I'm always like trying to look at the viewfinder and show you guys at the same time I already did add some at the tip of my nose because I contoured my nose a little bit off camera so that's already been done I'm gonna take it on my chin my cupid's bow did I say cupid's bow or my nose I did my nose highlight off camera already and some on the forehead so now I'm gonna spray my face with a little bit of facial spray it's not a setting spray it's just gonna like melt all the makeup together so that um, you don't just see like a stark <clears throat> I can't speak a stark line so I'm gonna take a little bit of the Olay mist and just spray my face I also did trim the eyelashes in case you guys haven't noticed I did go ahead and trim them because they were just too long for my eye shape a eye shape so I'm gonna take my Estee Lauder powder in the shade shell beige and contour with this using a I don't know Aesthetica p12 brush it's it's um like the name is no longer even there because I've used it for so much but it's fading away so that's why I can't really see it so I'm just gonna use this powder to contour not contour to bronze up my face before I contour so to contour I also take another powder I take one from um, L'Oreal this is C8 cocoa so I just dip this in the same brush I dip it in this powder and concentrate this just at the outer part of my face to deepen up my contour but I don't want to bring it all the way into the cheek because I don't think that looks very natural so I just like to stick to like these areas right here for my blush I am using none other than the white and wild pearlescent pink blush on a Luxie 660 precision did I say that word? Precision foundation brush. I'm just gonna tap this to on to the apples of my cheek. I love a lot of blush, so I'm gonna try to keep it a little bit neutral today. In case you didn't catch that last clip, I put on um, the Too Faced Ma Melted Matte Liquid Lipstick in the color Cool Girl. And I just threw it on because it dries down a little bit more pink on me. 
than it looks in like the actual bottle so I thought it would you know bring it all together so these lashes I'm not that crazy about though hmm despite the lashes not being my favorite I think this look turned out pretty good um, I want to say it's almost as good as how it turned out on my niece even though she did shoot me down pretty fast saying that she looked like Annabelle <laughs> um, rude but I like it like it's really cute it's pinky it's kind of cute for like a date night or maybe um, an everyday look kidding um I'm trying to think of that one holiday that everybody celebrates when they're in love what is it called valentine's day it's a very cute valentine's day look if you ask me if i do say so myself but yeah with that being said thank you guys all so much for watching please don't forget to like comment and subscribe leave me down all your video requests down below there we go i don't know why that was off like not centered but leave me all your video requests down below in the comments section below <laughs> every product i use will be in the description box as well just in case you're curious about it and thank you guys all so much for watching i'll see you guys in the next video